Will his long distance girlfriend cheat on him? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, bro. Today we're helping Xavier place his girlfriend's Bella to a loyalty test. If I were to put a girl to a test like this, she would have probably failed. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's different for somebody else. Our decoy Cameron will be the one testing Bella's loyalty. He's gonna pretend to be rich, hit on her, and then eventually ask her on a date. So how you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do, I love it. you love it. Come out here a little more, you know, spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, this could be a reality, you know what I'm saying? Is that something that you would be interested in? Bro, how you doing? doing great, man. Great, good, good, good. Welcome to your crib, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> good to be home. <laughs> so, Xavier, you managed to get away. I know. I told her that I was doing like training because I had like onboarding since I just like got this job. So, I mean, she didn't really question it too much. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah. Did she get suspicious or <laughs> no, anything? No, no, she didn't. She... We're Gucci. Good? Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> okay, cool. Xavier just got a new job, so in order to meet us up, he told Bella that he had a mandatory training that he couldn't miss for a couple of hours. She doesn't know exactly how long, but okay. I just told her I just had paperwork to sign. Okay. And a couple of trainings to do. Now this loyalty test actually began yesterday. We instructed Xavier to bring Bella to this restaurant to have lunch with his supposed friend Ken. This was phase one of our test. I'm definitely gonna test her and see what, <laughs> see what she wants to do, but all in all, man, I really do hope she passes. After waiting for some time, Xavier eventually texted Ken that he was here. I don't see them anywhere. Do you see them? Oh, no, I don't see them. Oh, there they are. I see them. Dude, what's up? Oh, bro, it's been forever, dude. Hello, Mark. How you been? Sorry, Bella. Bella, nice to meet you, nice Ken. To meet you. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about you. You guys ready to get something to eat? Ken is pretending to be Xavier's friend whom Bella has never met. We knew she wouldn't question this because, well, Bella hasn't met any of Xavier's friends. You see, she actually lives in a different state. Yeah, these two are in a long distance relationship and that's one of the reasons why Xavier wanted to test Bella. She and Xavier met while Xavier was out in Arizona doing a fitness expo. He's into fitness and she's a college student there. She also dances and bartends part time, which is useful information that Cameron will use to his advantage. I actually met her on, on campus. She goes to school. That's cool. Wait, what are you, you going to school for right now? Now, yeah, while California and Arizona ain't exactly the furthest, 400 miles is still 400 miles. At first, I thought it was like 100% that I was in the work. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would actually be like once I actually like started doing it and I'm like far away from her yeah but like slowly recently it's been getting like we've been lagging on each other mm. it's not like even like just the fact that it would be just her like sometimes like I'll be lagging too but I feel like she kind of does it in like kind of spite you got eyes on them right Andrew yeah, we'll do over. so yeah so what, what do you say you've been up to recently um Jane. Just uh, got the new gig selling like home theater stuff. I see why he's kind of tripping. I mean, she's pretty and she's, you know, like she's in college, she's a bartender, she's a dancer. Like, yeah. She has a lot of things that would attract guys to her and it's college, you know, they all have- If your girl's in college, she's not your girl. <laughs> if your girl's in college and you are not in that same college, she's not your girl. So I'm gonna think, I'm thinking, She's gonna, she's gonna fail, bro. But the fact of the matter is, this isn't her college. This, this isn't college right here. So, hey, and it's girls. Most of the times, girls pass this shit more than boys. So I'm, a, I'm gonna keep it like that, bro. Let's keep watching. Have the same goal. Nobody's in there like looking for love or anything like that. Like they're looking for a good time. How do, how do you like being out here in California? That's not true, though. Okay, That's not true, though. What's nice is not. It's not like, like dead. Is here. I honestly felt a little bad because she thought she was gonna be here on a weekend's vacation, but we gotta help the homie pull this test. Long distance relationships as is are hard. And honestly, if she's willing to cheat here in California while on vacation, he's gotta for sure drop her after that because who knows what she'd be willing to do 400 miles away in Arizona when he's not there. So you know, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? That, that's what I'm saying though, like he's here and she's here. So like if she cheats here, ah, uh, they're definitely clapping them cheats and cheeks in Arizona, bro. Can we talk about going to the beach here? I was gonna say, bro, if you're not doing anything, you should come uh, visit my place. It's like about five minutes, o five, ten minutes away from the beach, actually. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd be down. Would you be down? Yeah. The purpose for this phase was to invite the couple over to Ken and Cameron's supposed home. It's actually Cameron's house. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you didn't really like talk to him that much, but. Um, so you stay with him? I stay with him, yeah. I stay oh, with wow. him. I've never met a shy bartender or a dancer before, but we still wanted to ease this test in. We didn't want to make Bella suspicious or uncomfortable. Worst case scenario, she's got no choice, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. We want to make her feel like she has a yeah, choice, but yeah, at the end but of the day. She does not have a choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're coming to my house. <laughs> that, sound, that's, that sounds diabolical, bro. That, sound, that sounds diabolical, nigga, to put on YouTube for millions to see. 
nigger. <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's true. Bella was staying with Xavier, so she had to do what he was down to do. Bro, do you remember how I used to be really into Funko Pops? Not this so might well. seem really childish, Bella, but I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Phase one was a success. The couple was invited over and Ken began laying down the building blocks for the rest of our plan. I feel like it's better to, yeah, for sure, to make it like a more multiple step plan just because we try to like, I feel like rush it all in one day. Yeah. It won't be as realistic. Yeah. At least like I'm thinking like that's how she'll think. I agree. Like she might catch on or something, but. Yeah. Alrighty, bro. Good luck, okay. man. Once you get back, you'll see Ken out here. You'll meet up with him and we're in the zone, okay? okay. We're going, we're going, okay? All right, all right, cool, you got it? <laughs> all right, we'll see you, bro. Xavier began. But why the fuck is he testing her though? She hasn't given him a reason to not trust her. That's my thing. But like, the reason is evident. She's in college. And they are long distance. The reason is evident. But you cannot test her outside her zone, which is in college. If he was ever going to pull this... Nah, bro, but like, catching college students cheating outside of college in a different state is going to be hard, bro. It's gonna be hard. I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping it a buck. This might not work and she might be cheating. She might pass this test and she might be cheating. Bro. And making his way back home. He would be bringing Bella over within the next two hours, exactly as they planned yesterday. This gave us more than enough time to make sure we were ready to go for phase two of this test. I don't have a good feeling that she's gonna pass this you don't test. Think she's gonna pass? No. Why don't you think that? Because they already seem to have trust issues with each other. She lives in LA, she lives in Arizona. You don't get to see what she does every day, so I could understand why he would have paranoia, but it doesn't mean she's cheating. I'm not even sure that she's cheating right now, but I do think given the opportunity for something better, she I may don't. cheat. Oh, okay. Xavier just texted me that he is 10 minutes out. Ken, I think you should start getting to position. Remember to take the walk in with you. Over. 10 4, 10 4. Copy on that. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. We were now only 10 minutes away from showtime. They're having a long distance relationship okay. right now. Long distances work. I have a friend. His girlfriend's in Tennessee. He's out in LA. And they make it work. Ken was dating someone from Paris and was literally flying from every other weekend. That's crazy. And they still had loyalty issues. He just said parking should be there right now. Here we go. Where are they gonna come from is the question. Where did they park? Well, I've been looking at What's this up, car. Next? I've been looking at this car, oh, bro. Man, That's I... a fire car, bro. I've been looking at that car. Shit, the color, bro. That's a fire car. What are you doing? What type of came, car is bro. that? Bro, who's that three is this? Oh, dude, that's actually Cameron's, bro. Bro, no way. I know it's pretty sick, huh? Bella, how are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. As you can see, these are all the pops that I have. So the couple arrives, greets Ken, and he shows off his pops collection. If you guys recall, yesterday Ken told them this. I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Ken is pretending to collect and resell Funko Pops. Supposedly, he's gotta drop these off to a big buyer today, but in reality, we're using these pops as Xavier and Ken's excuse to exit the scene. This is the house. Yo. Yo, no way. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sh What's going on, X? Damn, it's been a minute, dog. You straight? Man, you look good, man. The goal right here is to make Bella comfortable. The plan is to leave her by herself with Cameron, so we don't need her to be shy or nothing like that. So you live in Arizona now? Oh, okay, okay. We're talking about like walking the pier, but like that could No, 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 we can do that today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we look, bro, bro, this is right near the pier, dude. We, so we can go to the pier, chill. After sunset, hey, we can come back here and just chill out by the pool and like that. The guys continue breaking the ice and Cameron nonchalantly continues to show off his lavish home. The odds of Bella cheating with a guy who's a whole state away are slim. If this guy is rich though, that might even out the playing field. Yeah. Everything so far is going as planned. Do you like party out in Arizona? Like how's the vibe out there? Like is it kind of? Not much to do, oh, but you'll love it out here in LA. Like, all right, it's good. We're getting her talking. Sounds like she's opening up. It's all good. We got this room here. It's like a, a game room that we have. Earlier, we were playing some Connect Four and stuff like that, bro. Now, instead of selling Funko Pops or just pretending to be rich, you could actually make some money by playing games on your phone. All you gotta do is sign up for Cash Kick. Cash Kick is a platform that helps you make more money. You can make an extra $150 all just by playing games on your phone. Let me show you guys how easy it is to start earning money. First, go to CashKick.com, which you can do so by clicking on the link in the description below or scanning the QR code that you see on the screen. You're gonna sign up with your email and create a password, and that's it. Now you can 
and start earning money. The amount of money that you can make varies per game. I would personally still recommend playing Dice Dreams. I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's one of the highest paying games. You can make an easy $200. You're on your phone all day anyway, so you might as well make some money. Cash Kick has over 2 million users and they've paid out millions. Since the last video, this is how much money I've made. I'm telling you guys, it's easy side of money. So again, sign up for Cash Kick by clicking on the link in the description below or by scanning the QR code that you see on the screen and start getting paid to play. Sign up. First things first, I'm gonna write that down. Cash kick. If I get $200 right now, bro, cash kick. I'm set. <laughs> I'm so set. For cash kick today. Everything was going as planned. We now just had to get Cameron and Bella by themselves. Do you know what Fungo Pops are? Like yeah, the little. Yeah, like the little dolls. You don't have any? No. You know, actually, what time is it? Hold it. Okay, here we go. I'm actually supposed to meet with the buyer. Oh, so I gotta get going. Do you still wanna go with me? Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely wanna see that. I think maybe only one of you guys can fit because I don't really have that much space to be honest, but it's, it's literally gonna be like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, would you mind staying for like a little bit? Like how long? You said it was gonna be quick, so I mean, yeah, it's no problem. We'll do something, yeah, for sure. It's gonna be quick. It's around the corner. It's right, we'll be like right back, I promise. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she can hang out here. That's no problem. Right. So with a little help from Cameron, she, she doesn't she doesn't seem too comfortable with that idea. But it's all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. New place, new people. I'm the, I'm the same way. And some social pressure. Ken and Xavier are finally able to exit the scene. Yeah, y'all drive safe, bro. Uh, we'll see when you get back. Oh man, okay, cool. All we gotta do now is sneak them back into the house, and that's where Kyle comes in. Yeah, just go down next to that car down there. You sure you don't want anything to drink or a snack or? A water? Yeah, I got you. This house did not have a side entrance, so to sneak Xavier upstairs, he and Ken first pretend to drive off. But yeah, let's play some, uh, let's play some Connect Four over here. After parking down the street, Ken and Xavier sneak their way to the side gate of the house. Look at these sketchy mother go. Someone's about to call the cops. No, they're not black. Obviously, they're not gonna call the cops. If it was right. you and me running, uh, they saw us fucking running down the street and trying to break into the house. We, yeah. make, we, we wouldn't even make it to the door. Sergio, we're in position. Copy that. Send again, Kyle. Kyle, go ahead and make your entrance. Okay, I'm coming. And with that, Kyle heads to the home to distract Cameron and Bella. Kyle's heading in right now with a hundred thousand dollar watch. So you're a bartender, you dance, you go to school. Who do you study in school? Psychology. Oh, so you're like studying to be a mind reader. Kyle's at the front door, Ken. You can go ahead and go to the corner. Yeah, but um, I just oh wait, hold on. I think it's my uh, assistant. Hold your position. Hold your position. I'll tell you when she goes to the door. Hey, what's up, brother? Yo, what's up, my dog? How's it going, bro? It's going good, man. Okay, so I got I went to the Rolex store. They got your watch custom made. This is probably one of the craziest freaking watches I have ever seen in my Bruh. entire life. Hey, hey, Bella, come take come take a look at this real quick. Where you at? Come around. I just got this new. Come come check out this new Rolex real quick. Sorry, I don't want to be too far from the box. She's going to the door. Wait there. Wait there. Not yet. Not yet. Kyle, this is Bella. I'm gonna close this. I don't want the draft to come in or anything like that. How you feel about this watch? It's super, super. Yeah. Now, go, 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 go. When it first came out, it literally was selling for like 520k. Like it was an exclusive by John Mayer. <laughs> God, this is so. What kind of fucking GTA 5 shit is this bullshit? But wait, 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 wait. That's all it takes to get into the back of the house. That's not very, very secure. That, that is not, bro, I'd have such anxiety living in this kind of houses because first of all, the fence is low. I'm pretty sure the fence is not electrocuted. I do not see, bro, if you, oh my God, bro. I want to show you guys what an actual fence looks like, but I can't do that right now. But God damn it, nigga, that is too open. No wonder y'all be getting robbed every two seconds. Golly. <laughs> I mean, to even be able to go ring with it, it says everything. Appreciate you. You got the other thing to handle for me too, right? Correct. Call me if you need anything Appreciate else. you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. How's everything suspected? She's suspecting anything? I don't think so. No, it's good. good. Yeah. Gucci? Oh, yeah. That's my guy. But yeah, how do you feel about the watch? Do you really like it? I do like yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. For you, I like it. For me? Like smaller watches. Smaller watches? Okay. You should be taking her back to the game room right now. All right, but let's head back to this game. You're not getting out of this ass whooping. With Xavier now safely in the room, Cameron was free to start working his way into making his move. I know that girl's about to fail hardcore. Right. right. Bro, I'm probably lying to this too, telling me she's not open. Look at the way she's got her hands folded and shit. She's not yet open. She has not yet settled down and relaxed, bro. So, I, I don't know, bro. I, I still think she's going to pass. Bro. I feel like she's going to pass. But at the same time, she's a college student, a broke college student. 
I'm assuming a broke college student because all college students are mostly broke, like ninety percent of them. So she might need this money. <laughs> I'm just saying she might need this though. But it's a different fucking state. She's not gonna do it for love, man. If she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it for the money. Because she saw how handsome and rich and flamboyant and sexy and good looking and charismatic and charming and amazing that you are. Is that what it is? Flamboyant. I, flamboyant. I don't know if Bella's going to fail or not, but I think we did a hell of a job making sure our decoy looked twitch. The house, the car, the Rolex, I mean, that all might make a difference. Let's play some Uno. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Damn. All right, there. All right, there. All right, there. Hopefully, Bella will remain loyal because long distance cheating, oof, that is on a whole other level. Back though, back though. You know how to shuffle? Matter of fact, you shuffle. No, you shuffle. No, oh, I can shuffle. Okay, bet. Cause I don't want no excuses. You being like, oh, you didn't, you didn't sabotage the cards, blah blah blah. You know how to play? You know what tech though? Man, I'm a talker. I've told you that's my love language. If I ain't talking no, yeah. If, I, if I'm talking, I'm with you for sure. You should definitely come out here some more for sure. Like, and you said that you're dancing and stuff like that too. Like, I got some connects. So I could really get you in some stuff. Like, ain't no work happening in Arizona. Like, you said you in the middle of nowhere, Arizona too. So, Stop. hey, oh, now you gotta take those. You grab them. You go first though. Anything a red flag for you yet? Unnecessarily. Um, nothing too bad, I guess. And so with that, Cameron and Bella begin playing some Uno. Cameron uses the game to continue breaking the ice, getting yeah, friendly with her, yeah, yeah. and getting her to open up. Eventually, he switches to Connect Four, cueing us that he was getting ready to make his move. He's gonna be making his move pretty soon here. Okay, so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think, oh, she's nervous. I got you nervous, huh? Nah, you didn't seem nervous ever since, you know, Xavier left. I don't know, you just clumsy or you nervous? I'm just Hmm. I hear you. It's your turn. Go ahead. I think. Is it? It is my turn. I'm oh, okay. Thinking. Oh, you think? Yeah, think hard. Uh, Don't think too long. Okay, bet. She's starting to open up. But anyway, yeah, like. So, how you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do. I love it. You love it? It's so nice. Yeah, it's cool. I imagine living here. I mean, you ain't got. Like I said, nigga, if she's gonna do it, bro. She's gonna do it for that dough. That's the only valid reason, bro, because she ain't finna do it for love, nigga. She, she a college student in a different fucking state. God damn it, that just proves that she could shit on this other nigga. Oh my God, bro, shut up. You gotta imagine, you know, you can come out here a little more, you know, spend, spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, here we go, I think this might be it. You ain't gotta imagine, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can be reality, but, you know. That's on you. I, what do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, like, you can just come out, like, come out more, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can show you around, like, you want to hit the city? I know, like, the best steakhouses. I know the best seafood. Like, what you into? What kind of food you like? I like seafood. Seafood? Yeah. Bet. We got Nobu right up the road. I know the manager and all that. Like, Nobu? Yeah. It's like, it's like a sushi. Like, sushi, seafood. You like sushi? Yeah. For real, like, we can really do that. Like, you real beautiful. Like, you got a cool vibe. You, you dress cool. Like, I think you'd be some good company for me. Hit her with that fucking compliment. Show her what she can get. Hit her with the compliment. There's a set, there's a stage after that, and then you hit with the question, nigga. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, she already said she likes seafood, brother. <laughs> Is that something that you would be interested in? I said. A little bit, maybe, yeah. I mean, do you guys have anything planned for today or tomorrow? Um, uh, I mean, just so we're gonna hang out here today. Hmm. Um, to I got you. Well, tomorrow, like, I can make myself fully available to you. But if not, I guess then. I guess I like, could say, like, maybe. I'm maybe? Right let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Here's my phone. Uh, put your number in real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. And so just like that, Bella gives Cameron her number and seemingly agrees to go to Nobu with him. All right, bet. I gotta call it. It's just, it's, it's, it's just Nobu, nigga. It's just food. Nigga, it could not, it, it might not be cheating type shit. You feel me? But the number exchange, though, is a little too deep and a step too far for me to be comfortable with. But wait, chill out. It's still just a number exchange, nigga. Don't mean shit. It don't mean shit. So let's let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. I'd assume she knows what she's doing here. 
because she's seeming too fucking interested. So she's seeming too interested. Girl, you are seeming too fucking interested. Because I don't know, you, you know, I, yeah, call it because I don't know. You, you give me the wrong number and I'm just sitting here calling. Yeah, no, I don't think I would classify this as a fail just yet. Bella's yeah. intentions weren't clear. Cameron came off a little rambly, nervous, and vague, if I'm being honest. I mean, don't get me wrong. He got the numbers, so we could move on to a phase three. You think she's saying this because she's just being nice or because she just feels uncomfortable or no, awkward? She's, not being she's nice, just saying bro. whatever he wants to hear. Just playing devil's advocate here, right? Yeah. All right, so we could. All right, bet. Well, that sounds good. Well, shit. Tomorrow, you better be free. You got clothes? Like, you got date night clothes? Or I got, I got to, like, I got to give my car, let you go shopping a little bit. Because if you're going out with me, you got to come correct. Like, you got to come with some yeah, style. I might have something I could wear. You sure? You sure? I mean, I can buy you some. You want some little jewelry? Like, I got a black card. I can just, like. Okay, this began changing things for me. Now it's starting to sound like she's failing because Cameron is being more direct. Huh, I guess the man works backwards. Money's, money's no, no problem. Like yeah, you like that? What else? Get your money up before you fuck with these girls, niggas. Get your money up for whatever means possible before you fuck with these girls, bruh. Especially college students, bro. Especially college students, bro. God damn it, nigga, shit. Which is why, at a certain degree, fucking with older women is, like, way more logical because they already got their life situated. They already know if they want to work, if they don't want to work type shit. Like, especially the ones that got to, that want to work, like, they already got their career down. They don't need that money. They, they're not easily swaying. They are looking for shit more serious. This type of niggas, this type of girls, bro. <sighs> oh, my God, nigga, she's going to fail, bro. She's going to fail so fucking bad. What you like? Mm, oh, you like the pool? We going? I'm talking about me. We ain't talking about no pool. But it's alright. We'll talk about that tomorrow dinner. We ain't gotta worry about that right now. Like, like, mm -hmm. You like? You like all that? You like me? You like me? Okay, okay. I like you for sure. You cool. We'll see how you are tomorrow. You know, you a little, you a little shy now, but yeah, tomorrow we definitely gonna open you up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. But Tomorrow, I'm gonna open you up a little bit. <laughs> the double meaning of that shit is crazy, nigga. But let me finish busting your ass. Yeah, by this little interaction alone, she clearly senses that he's flirting with her and she's not shutting it down. Is she into him, though, or is she just into the money and the opportunity? I don't want to say it's like a 100% fail so far. I want to see if she's maybe going to, like, tell me about right. it like, and say, like, oh, I was just doing that. I was uncomfortable. You were gone. Right. So that's valid, what I'm, valid, like, I'm hoping valid, for. Valid, valid, but valid. At the same time, I don't know that there's definitely better ways of going about that. Like, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, though, it's on you. I know you said you wanted to keep this thing going. You still want to do that? Well, 100%. And you're still cool with trying to finish it today? Yeah. Cool. Cameron told Bella that they would hang out tomorrow, but the final is to finish this test today. We already had an excuse to get Bella to come back. I'm trying to stay optimistic that she's yeah. just going to tell me. But yeah. yeah. And, that, and that, too, try to give her a chance to, like, come clean. To tell you, something. like... She's yeah. not gonna just be like, oh, what you guys talk about? Mm. And then see what she says. She's not Should gonna I be tell him. recording that part or like somehow like voice memo or something? Or? I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you could get it on a voice memo. That'd be actually really cool. Okay. That'd be actually really cool. I need a little snack. You want you want like a little snack out of the kitchen or anything like that? Sure. Yeah, come on. For now, Cameron's job was done. Our new priority was to get Ken and Xavier back into the scene. Hey, Kyle, we need an excuse to get these guys back downstairs. <laughs> And that was what he wanted to do for his birthday. So like, it was super cool though. It was like a Mario Kart thing. We drove through the city. But who is that? Oh, Lincoln. Yes, sir. What's up, man? How are you, bro? I need your help with the car. Do you want to have her come out? Yeah, yeah hey, anything. Bella, real quick, come here. I wasn't entirely sure what the excuse to get Bella out the house was, but hey, when you're in a stranger's house, you usually do what they say. Yeah, have yeah. you seen your M3 competition sports before? Like, the new the new BMW. Nah, yeah, it's literally people like one of yet. 350 ever made. Yeah. Yo, so what, wait, 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 wait. Their car is just down the street. Having her come out that close is kind of. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Exactly. The keys got locked inside, so I'm trying oh. to figure out how to do it from your app. Oh my god. <laughs> do you think the outside is cool? Wait till you see the inside. Go ahead, take a look. I love the red. Yeah. So I guess the excuse was that the car keys were locked in the car and they needed Cameron's phone to unlock it. A little random and odd, but Bella didn't question it and it got the job done. Alrighty, you guys are good. So crazy. As they come in, they go out. <laughs> 
weekend, you're gonna not move your car back. You can just say that you parked it down the street or heck, she might not even question it, but just leave your walkie outside and turn it off. Copy on that. Do you have like a dream car or anything like that? Um, yeah, I would like a Porsche. A Porsche? Alrighty guys, well, that's it. Damn. That's probably them right now. I'm a I little like a on the Porsche. fence where like, I wanna give her the benefit of the doubt and just think that she's just trying to be nice. Well, not trying to be nice. More like, hey, let me just tell him what he wants to hear. We were keeping this test going, so we were gonna learn Bella's intentions soon enough. We just had to get her and Xavier out of there. And the excuse was that Xavier got called in for work. Remember, Xavier- I'd like a Porsche. Uh, and your boyfriend can't give you a Porsche. You can't give yourself a fucking Porsche. But we see this nigga out here spend 100k on a watch and he likes you, so why not? God damn it, nigga, god damn it. Are you in college? God damn it. He probably has connections for her to get in places, get a job with her degree, or probably not even need to use the fucking degree, bro. <sighs> life, life is screwed up, bro. Life is messed up. Xavier actually just got a new job, so we were using that to our advantage. Did you yeah. get like a call or something? They just yeah. called me in, but I, it's a new gig, so I don't really want to like... Uh, oh, you got called in to like work? Yeah. Just oh, they said that they gave it to you. They did, but someone called out the closing, so Dang. I got a, a four-hour Yeah, handle your, handle your business, bro, like for sure. Did you just start a new job? You, you guys are still down, and maybe, maybe later tonight when I get out. It's probably work out better that way anyway, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Do right, your thing, bro. Hell yeah, good scene. Nice meeting you, Bella. We'll definitely be well acquainted. We'll talk soon. And with that, phase two officially came to an end. The plan was to execute phase three in a couple of hours. Her arms are folded, man. Yeah, but did you, you see think the she's look? But did you look at the look of her face when she saw that car? Well, everybody looks at a car doesn't mean she's a cheater. Just because yeah. she looked at a car makes her guilty. I'd look at the car. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck him, but I'd look at the car. Like, I would look at the car like, oh my fucking God, bro. But like... Her arms were folded the whole time, so she probably wasn't comfortable. Where the fuck is my drink? Her, paws, her hands were folded the whole time, so she most likely wasn't comfortable. You feel me? So, I don't know. This is still a double-edged sword. She might just have said that shit or agreed to those shit because she wasn't comfortable and she didn't want to get in any messy situation. That's still a possibility because of her body language. But at the same time, I don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit. Fine. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Ken in forever, so I just he kind of put me in the spot to like, go with him, and yeah. I, I felt bad leaving you. But um, what do you guys do? Yeah, I just play Connect Four and just like talk to him. You know. Okay, what do you guys talk about? Um, just like Arizona. Um, that's it, really. Nothing crazy. Arizona. Like, oh, oh, oh. I haven't talked to him in like forever, so I was just wondering. You've talked to him more than I've talked to him in like the last two years. Yeah. Anything else? Not really. Okay. Yeah. How is the whole sale go? Like, how did that go? Failure. Failure. This is what you get for messing with a college student, bro. If you're not in the same college, man, let her go. If if she's really yours, she's going to come back afterwards. But do not put yourself in that situation where she's in a high-stress environment, needing to relieve stress. She's surrounded by niggers wanting to fucking the most hormonal, hormonal teenagers on the planet, hormonal human beings on the planet. She got her friends going out to party clubs, da 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 da. Her friends doing all this mad shit every weekend, every day. They're living the most stupid lives where they got like, come on, bro, come on, bro. Don't do that to yourself, my guy. Do not do that. Do not do that to yourself, my guy. If she's in college, allow her finish. If when she finishes, if she's still, if she's still fucking with you, bro, she gonna come to you. Or you gonna ask her after college, bro? Do you still fuck with? Me? So now we can kick off. Don't put yourself through this bullshit, man. Right? College students, nah. Oh, that was really cool. I made like a grand. I'm like, of those Funko Pops? It was a lot of Funkos, but That's it was like, crazy. yeah. 
So as you guys just heard, Bella did not tell Xavier everything. And I hate to say it, but that's a huge red flag. Honestly, like she was really shy at first, but when I started like opening up about like opportunities and stuff, that's when she like got into it. And okay. I feel like she broke out of her share a little bit. Okay. So, and I started talking about money. I think that's when she was just like, oh, okay. Anybody gets excited when you see a nice watch, when you see a nice car, when you see a nice house, we all get excited. True. It doesn't automatically make you a cheater. She could just be trying to use me. She could just be trying she to use me. She wasn't like hella, like she wasn't like super, super flirty. Like I think she could be an opportunist. If you have a partner who is willing to go see another guy that they just met, regardless of their financial situation. And she does nothing with you. But you don't consider it's that not, cheating? Even when your partner goes out with the person of the opposite sex, you don't consider that cheating? It's not a it's not a good look. No, that's 100% cheating. Yeah. Let me take it out of your head. I heard oh. you guys were very oh. little This was wild. We don't usually record a three-phase test in two consecutive days, but we figured that it was best to just finish this since Bella's from out of town and she's staying with Xavier. I mean, we didn't want him wondering if she was going to stay loyal the entire weekend. So as soon as he was able to get away, he texted me that he was on his way back. How'd it go? I think it went good. Is she suspecting anything? Don't think so, no. She believes her at work right now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's, dude, I was just like thinking in my head, this is freaking crazy. She didn't tell me about the phone number. She didn't mention that. She didn't mention about like him giving her connections. Yeah, hopefully she goes to him right now. We're gonna have him call him. He's getting ready and we're finishing setting everything up, but honestly, she could save herself if she goes to him. Everyone's definition of cheating in a relationship is different. So what would you consider a fail to be for you? Well, I mean, if it's her number, like her real number, I already consider that a fail. Just because she didn't tell me about it. No, a number, a number is too, is too strict. But what she did, definitely, what she did was definitely cheating. Agreeing to all that shit. I don't even know. But no, no, not even agreeing. Not telling me about it. Not telling him about it is definitely a cheating, cheat move, bro. She's, she's, she's weighing her possibilities right now. She just said this nigga with money. And she's just weighing her possibilities to the end of the day, to da, 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 how it goes, how what happens, how it plays out, which is definitely cheat on move, bro. She didn't tell me nothing, so if this is her number, then I already consider that a fail for sure. Hopefully, you go through the voice. Let's see, let's see if she even answers. Yo, this is uh, this is Bella, right? Well, yeah. Who is this? Yeah, it's Cam. Yeah, you you just damn. How many numbers you give out today? <laughs> I didn't say it yet. Oh, didn't say. Well, lock me in now. You you gotta take me serious. But is, is this uh, is this a good time? Uh, yeah, I can talk. All right, you can talk. All right, cool. Well, I know earlier, um, Xavier said that he had to work and whatnot. Like, is he gone or like is he still around or or what? Yeah, he's, not he's gone. All right. Well, listen. I know we we made plans for tomorrow, but I mean, since your boyfriend's at work, like, what do you think about hanging out tonight instead? I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't know. Maybe to get ready, and ah! like, I don't. I don't want to be to come back. And, like, I'll, I'll be gone. I mean, he's at work. You know, he should be on for a while. I'm like, how, how you feel about it? I mean, I don't know, like, you're gonna only be gone for, like, four hours, so... I mean, that's perfect. I mean... Oh, she's down for it, bro. She is down for it. She's... Ah! Oh, my goodness! Ah! Bro! You take, like, a little hour to get ready. I uh, send a drive over to you, pick you up. Um, yeah, you know, we do our thing. I take you back. It's like, it's like it never happened. But I think we could pull it off for sure. I want to go, but I don't know if I'm really ready to go out anywhere right now. Like, what if his roommates, like, say something? Or, I don't know. I mean, you can make up some sort of excuse, like, you know, you, you going to see some family or some friends or something. Like, it's got to be something that you can say. And they don't know you. It's not like they're going to question or press you about it. Like, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, for sure. And just leave. Yeah. Um, can they? Yeah, I can sit by. I can send him to run some air. I can keep him busy for a few hours. Like, we're gonna kick him for two hours, you know, something real quick, and I'm gonna send you right back. It's like it never happened. It's gonna be fun for sure. Alright, I guess. Alright, so I like you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> About like 30 minutes, like an hour, like, how, like, I'm trying to figure out what time to send my driver over to get you. Send a driver. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send you a driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but nothing about this phone call sounded innocent. Bella was failing big time. 
Bet. All right. Yeah. Just uh, just let me know when to send a driver and send me the address, and then uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Bro, broski, broski is so hot broken right, right now. Yeah. Bro. Just uh, just let me know when to send a driver and send me the address, and then. Uh, broski is so devastated that you got a fresh cut and everything, nigga. Sorry, man. <laughs> the money gonna win every fucking time, man. The money gonna win every fucking. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but I know how you feel, bro. It happens. It happens to every single person. You learn and you grow and you keep pushing, bro. Because, damn. <laughs> she really went right for it out the bat. She was just considering ice cream. What if he comes back? What if he did? And when the nigga gave her reassurance that, now nah, I got you. I'm going to send a driver. You're going to be out two hours. I'm going to send you back two hours straight. Swimming. Simple, man. God damn it, nigga. Ah, this gotta hurt. This gotta hurt, that bitch, bro. Uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeah, so I would consider that a fail already, honestly. But yeah, I'll toss my things a fail. That, that shit is a fail, man. I just, I'm thinking about what she's gonna say. It's like, if you want solid but, proof, like, I'll really yeah. like press her, you know? I'll try to, you know. Do whatever, go all the way. I'll, all right. Bella coming over while on quote unquote vacation and while her boyfriend is at work is wild. Like I said, that is some next level cheating. Kyle's on his way to pick her up. I'll keep you updated. I'm ready to get to it. It's crazy. We were legit here three, four hours ago. Holy cow. I have deja vu. So we kind of adjusted the front camera. Kyle will be the one picking up Bella and bringing her here. But of course, the camera that we set up in his car would have died halfway through the drive. Thankfully, though, his mic was still rolling. Like I said earlier, I, I think she already failed, but it's more of like the, I know how she is. She's gonna try to mani manipulate yeah. the situation, but. Yeah, I mean, I think she had a chance to save herself. 100%. I get why you wanna go forward though and see the extra proof, so she has no excuses. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel you with that, man. T to me, it's just wild, because you're supposed to be working and she's coming here. For lack of a better phrase, I feel like this was one of the easier tests to pass. I mean, Bella's from out of town. Xavier flew her out, she's staying with him. If he was on the front or even back of her mind, she would have easily said no. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Are you good to see you again? Of course. So what's the plan after this? I, I don't know. I, I'm for sure it, if she shows up, her can't. She's gonna have to figure her own way back home, like plane wise. You're stuff, gonna cancel her flight by hundred percent. Yeah. All her stuff is at my house right now, so I don't know like what she's gonna do with that. Bro, that, that, that that's fucked. That's a fucked move, man. Get her back home, bro. If anything happens to her, she was with you. So, like, get her back home. <clears throat> then just break up with her. I mean, get her back home. Fly her back home. Gonna be an awkward as hell flight. But get her back home. Get her safe in a place that all her friends can see. And, you know, just say, I swear, from now on, fuck you. Goodbye. Never again. I never want to see you again. Do not leave her in another state, bro. She's a college student. How the fuck you want to get out? How the fuck you want her to get home, bro? Like, so you're going to cancel her flight back home. Would you let her stay with you still? No. 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 This sounds harsh, but at the same time, come on now. Bella was given a choice and she chose to trade her boyfriend out for another man. You can't give someone your loyalty if it isn't reciprocated back. I don't blame you if you don't let, us, let her stay with you for the rest of her trip. I don't blame you if you cancel her flight back home. I mean, it just sucks, you know? <laughs> yeah. She's gonna see your car. We gotta move your car. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. How dumb the fuck are you <laughs> thinking about Yeah, let's go move your car. No, just... we're gonna go move his car. We forgot to move his car. Okay, bet, bet, bet. <laughs> <laughs> What a rookie mistake. We were so caught up in the moment that we forgot to move Xavier's car. This one little oversight could have cost us the entire test. That was a close one. <laughs> Damn. I almost ruined everything. No, dude. I mean, hey, in our defense, it's been a long freaking day. Like I said, we usually don't pull three face tests in two days. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here. Perfect. I'm sure he's very excited to see you. Let me go and get your door for you. Kyle's coming out. Check this out, guys. This is Kyle, Mr. Chauffeur. With Bella now here, I mean, that was it. She officially sealed her fate. Oh, she looked, she dressed up nice and everything. Here, That's I mean, that was it. Crazy. She officially sealed her fate. Oh my god, bro, she dressed up nice, the heels, the heels, the bag, the... Ah! Fuck. <laughs> What's going on? How you doing? Good, you good? Good, good, good. You straight? Yeah, I gotta go upstairs and check the heater really quickly. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Thank you. To look good. Bella knows exactly what she's doing. I mean, she came dressed to go out to dinner. Yes, Obviously, sir. though, that isn't going to be happening. Got a little surprise for us, a little champagne, you know, just to, you know, saying, get us all started and whatnot. We don't really drink champagne. 
You don't really drink champagne. Yeah, now you do, for sure. Ooh. Damn. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's done for. It doesn't matter, fam. She's over at another guy's house, bro. Drinking champagne with him while you're at work. You look a little too good. Earlier you was chilling, but you didn't dress up now, so you a little, you a little different now. But yeah. Do you want to check out the pool? What you want to do? With champagne in hand, Cameron begins taking Bella over to the pool. Look at the view. It's really unbeatable. This is the place to be at nighttime. There are some that may still defend Bella and say that she's only here for networking or the opportunity or just. Yeah, yeah, but fucking hell, tell your boyfriend about it. Oh my God, nigga. Oh, I get it, you're in college. You gotta, you know, get to know people like this if you wanna get ahead in life. Like, after you graduate, People like this are most likely gonna connect you with who you need. But fucking hell, bro. He wants to fucking split your legs in half. You tell your fucking man shit. Ugh. Just to hang out. Xavier wanted to cast all that doubt away. All right, we gotta get in. Cameron manages to convince Bella to dip their feet in the pool. Is it warm enough? Hell yeah. Yeah. Try not to fall over. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's the champagne kicking in already. Lightweight. Oh, <laughs> that tough. You saw. You thought I was a liar. I'm not you. Damn. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, here we go, bro. You look too good. And see, you got your little lip gloss on and everything else. Like you really. Wait, wait. Why the fuck are they in the pool? I thought he, they went. To, they wanted to go for dinner. Oh my god, bro. You really did it. Like you. You was beautiful before, it's but now beautiful. it's like. If she kisses him, then then we can just go. Mm, you looking too. Too, too, too good. Thank you. Mm. I've been looking at your lips all day. You got some nice lips Wait, on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get like a little pack. Nothing crazy. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Yeah, your girl's gone, gone. <laughs> she done been gone. Nigga, you in that relationship on your own. Oh my days. Yeah. Are we, are we good to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in. That was fast, quick, and to the point. There was literally zero hesitation from her. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You look too good. Thank mm. you. Yeah. I love this color on you. Hold on, uh, get, Xavier, give us some time to uh, adjust for you. Of course, we would start having some technical difficulties as we were about to go in. If you want to, I can get a personal chef to just come through and we can kick it here in the crib. We ain't gotta... After making sure our equipment was good to go, we began making our way back in. Everybody good? It's been a long and crazy ride, but I hope you guys haven't talked this because you guys already know. This is this part always makes me feel some type of way because of the confrontation. I don't like confrontation, but hey, it's part of it, nigga. This shit's gonna be good. So what are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? You think I'm at work still? What are you doing here? Is, is this your girlfriend? What is this? Yo, you're f***ing cheating on me. Why are the cameras here? Don't worry about the cameras. You're f***ing cheating on me. We saw everything. Since you put your number in his phone, we have all that on footage. You're f cheating on me. What do you mean, what am I doing? I just f seen everything. You just gave him a f kiss and he's over here grabbing you. You're just okay with it? I left you alone for f 20 minutes and you put your number on your phone? What's up with that? You're just hanging out. I gave you since f to f give me a call or you, even when I asked you in the f car, I said, oh, did anything else happen? Oh my God, bro. She, she, ah! You can tell she knows she fucked up, bro. Like, look at the way she's doing her hands and shit. Like, like she gonna cry and shit. But like, fuck it, oh, you kissed the nigga. You you wear it, you wear it, you wear it shy or or, or anxious when you kiss the nigga, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> you didn't say none of that. You lied to me. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. What do you mean nothing happened? I just seen everything. This whole thing was a f***ing setup. So Bella, so just so you're aware, like this entire thing was basically just a loyalty test. We're aware that you guys have a long distance relationship and everything, and Xavier just wanted to see if you'd say loyal to him or not. You got uh, caught plain and simple. This ain't even in his house. Yeah, we set up this entire test. Cameron doesn't really live here. Like this entire thing was just a test. Obviously, your boyfriend's not really at work. He never was at work. He didn't go to work this morning. He wasn't at work right now. Um, we just wanted to see what you would do if, you know. You're crazy. How the f am I crazy? You're you just so got caught plain and simple. 
crazy. How the f am I crazy? So How am I talking? You just He's cheated so on me. Extra. You just He's cheated on me. That's so extra. Yeah, and look, you failed. That's so where, where are you going? You're not going back to my house. So where am I supposed to go? You gotta figure it out, because you're not going back to my house. Where the f am I gonna go? I don't f know. Wait, wait, didn't, didn't you tell Cam that you. Yeah, yeah, he brought her here. That's a fact. You brought her there. You gotta take her back. But she she don't gotta live in your house no more. But you you definitely brought her there. You're responsible for her regardless of if she failed. That's why you should have done this test in Arizona, man. You have girlfriends out here? Maybe go with one of them. Or maybe one of your dudes from Arizona. Since every time you be lagging on me, now I know what the f you be doing. I don't, I'll f throw that to the street and you can pick that up. That's where you f belong, anyways. How the f am I a f dork? You just f cheated on me. Hey, you're, 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 what are you gonna do to get back home? Your flight's canceled. I'm gonna cancel that. Flight? Yeah, I f paid for it. Your own money. You, you, sound so dumb. you wasted plenty of my f money and my f time. You sound so. You were about to f go skinny dipping with this f man. No, I wasn't. You mean no, you no, wasn't? Was ridiculous, so wasting my f time. You know that, right? I'm so what? You were so stupid. How the f am I f stupid? She, she's going straight for gaslighting, but hey, you got caught, you got caught, nigga. You got caught, you got caught. I mean, you're like manipulating. Like, you just kiss me and everything. Like, that's cheating. Like, if he did that to you, like, you'd be, you'd be sick, bro. Like, like be real. Yeah, you know. What? What, what, what was it like crazy. that? Everything was on footage since yesterday. That's Don't crazy. you feel dumb? Like, everybody know you're gaslighting right now. They'll, everything's on. Yeah, you're gaslighting. Made me, me look like the crazy I'm one saying I'm psycho. You do sound crazy. How the f am I crazy? Well, are we not in a relationship? Weren't we supposed to be working on us? My f better be outside. Yeah, that f will be to the f street, like I f said. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> you good? I mean, I don't even feel bad. I mean, she told him she had friends out here. So, I mean, she, she can f figure it out. I don't even want to see her face. Wow. So after just straight gaslighting Xavier, Bella was kicked out to the streets. Now, even though she was 100% in the wrong, I did feel bad for her. Yeah, hey, Xavier, how she no, I, feel, I feel bad for her, bro. I don't know why, but I feel bad for her, bro. Uh, I shouldn't feel bad for her, but I feel bad for her, bro. Like, she's in a different state. She, she, bro, at least get her back to her place, man. Come on. She's gonna figure it out, dude. She said she has friends. She, she has a whole contact list out here too maybe bella did have friends or a roster that could help her out it still didn't change the fact that she was 400 miles away from home though bella hey bella what well, we, we we can like call you an uber or we can even book you a flight if you don't have a way to get home we get that what the situation but we don't want to at least get you home safely regardless of the setup we just want to make sure you get home safe do you have a way of getting back to arizona safely <laughs> Do you, do you have her contact info? Yeah, I have her contact. Okay. Bella? We're not condoning Bella's actions, but we're also not about to let her figure this out on her own. Yeah. Since Kyle has her contact info, can he can he help you figure it out? He wasn't even doing anything. That's what's really hard. Like, he left me alone. He wasn't giving me any kind of attention. And then he Shut the fuck up. You failed. Let him help you get back home. He said he wasn't giving you any kind of attention. Nigga, he left you for 20 minutes, bitch. Fuck. He expects me to, like, be all over him. Here's what we'll do. Look, I'll call an Uber for you right now to get to your place or to Xavier's place, whatever. We'll organize with Xavier to get your stuff and we'll organize your flight back home. Xavier's not gonna do this out of his yep. own pocket. We'll do it out of our pocket to help you. Come over. Okay, all right, let's cut the cameras. You wanna go talk to Xavier? You yep, to I got it. Xavier? Okay, cool. You want me to cut the camera? Yeah, go ahead. yeah, let's cut the cameras. I don't regret our decision. Yeah, Bella's a cheater, but I'm okay with making sure she got home safely. She could cheat all she wants in Bally. Arizona. Valid, 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 valid. Valid UDI, man. Valid fuck. Valid UDI, man. Valid, valid, valid loyalty test. Valid everything, bro. I was fucking crazy. <laughs>